The Paleocene Swamp 60 million years ago is a world reborn from catastrophe. Mist shrouds the water, giant ferns droop, and oversized insects drone in the humid air. A primitive crocodilian basks on the muddy bank unaware of the lurking danger. Suddenly a ripple disturbs the surface, something massive glides beneath. The crocodilian reacts too late, a colossal serpent emerges, its head broader than a man's torso. Its scales glisten, its eyes unblinking, and its immense body coils with terrifying power. This is no ordinary snake. This is a monster born of a hothouse world. The attack is swift, a violent struggle, then silence as the crocodilian vanishes beneath the water. The swamp returns to stillness, its secrets hidden once more. For a fleeting moment we witness the power of its greatest inhabitant. Here, serpents, not mammals or dinosaurs, rule the waterways. This was the world of the giant snakes. The air itself seems to remember the primal fear of these titans. The age of the giant serpents has begun. In this world, only the boldest survive. The reign of the titans is underway. Meet Titanoboa serajonensis, the titanic boa, the largest snake ever to exist. Over 13 meters long and weighing more than a ton, it dwarfed even the largest modern anacondas. Its fossilized remains found in Colombia rewrote our understanding of reptilian limits. Titanoboa was a semi-aquatic ambush predator, perfectly adapted to the hot, humid swamps of ancient South America. It hunted giant turtles and primitive crocodilians, striking with explosive force and crushing power. Its constriction was immense, no venom needed, just sheer strength. Once caught, prey had no escape. Titanoboa would swallow its meal whole, sustaining itself for months. Compared to modern anacondas, Titanoboa was in a league of its own, longer, thicker, heavier. It was the undisputed apex predator of its ecosystem. In the wake of the dinosaurs, Titanoboa filled the void, ruling the Paleocene swamps. Its reign was a testament to life's ability to flourish after catastrophe. The king of serpents had arrived. Before Titanoboa, Africa's giant was Gigantophis garstini. Living 40 million years ago, Gigantophis reached up to 10 meters, rivaling Titanoboa in size. It haunted the lush, tropical coastlines of the ancient Tethys Sea, preying on early mammals like Meritherium, a primitive, water-loving relative of elephants. Gigantophis was an ambush predator, striking from the water to overpower its prey with powerful coils. As the climate cooled and swamps vanished, both Gigantophis and its prey disappeared. The giant snake was a specialist, perfectly adapted to its world, until that world changed. Its extinction marked the end of an era in Africa. Only fossilized bones remain to tell the story of this ancient serpent king. For a time, Gigantophis was the terror of the Eocene. The story of giant snakes is also the story of the Matsoidae, a family of primitive constrictors that thrived for 80 million years. These snakes survived the dinosaur extinction and spread across Gondwana, adapting to new lands and prey. Some, like Gigantophis, grew enormous, others remained modest in size, their muscular build and primitive jaws made them formidable hunters. Matsoids coexisted with dinosaurs, then adapted to hunt mammals after the extinction event. Their adaptability was key to their long reign. Eventually, climate change and competition from modern snakes led to their decline. The last of the Matsoids vanished in the Pleistocene, ending a dynasty that spanned continents and ages. Their legacy is written in stone, a testament to their dominance. Not all giant snakes stayed on land. Some, like Paleophis, conquered the ancient seas. Paleophis lived from the late Cretaceous to the Eocene with some species reaching up to 9 meters. Its body was flattened for swimming, its tail a powerful paddle. Paleophis hunted fish, sharks and perhaps even early whales ambushing prey in the murky depths. Whether it constricted or simply overpowered its victims, it was a true sea serpent. Paleophis shows the adaptability of snakes, masters of land, freshwater and ocean. For millions of years these marine giants patrolled the ancient seas. The age of marine reptiles lived on in the form of giant serpents. In late Cretaceous India, Sanaje indicus lurked among dinosaur nests. At three and a half meters it wasn't the largest but it was a specialized predator. Fossils show Sanaje coiled inside a titanosaur nest next to a crushed egg and hatchling remains, a rare snapshot of ancient behavior. Sanaje likely waited for eggs to hatch, preying on vulnerable baby dinosaurs. Its primitive jaws couldn't swallow eggs whole, so it targeted hatchlings. This ambush strategy is still seen in snakes today. Sanaje's existence reveals that snakes were already diverse and successful in the age of dinosaurs. They weren't just small burrowers. Some were bold nest raiders. 
Even the mighty titanosaurs faced threats from below. The ancient art of ambush predation had deep roots. In Ice Age Australia, Wanambi narrocoortensis was one of the last great matsoid snakes. Reaching 6 meters it hunted kangaroos and other marsupials near waterholes and caves, Wanambi was a relic from Gondwana, a top predator for millions of years. The arrival of humans changed everything, competition and hunting drove Wanambi to extinction. Its disappearance marked the end of the Matsoide dynasty. Modern pythons eventually filled the void, but the continent lost a true ancient predator. Wanambi's story is a reminder of how quickly ecosystems can change. The last of the mighty Matsoids vanished forever. Australia's ancient serpent king is gone, but not forgotten. Today's giant snakes, green anaconda, reticulated python, Burmese python are echoes of their prehistoric ancestors. The green anaconda is the heaviest, the reticulated python the longest, and the Burmese python a powerful constrictor. These modern giants are ambush predators, using camouflage and strength to subdue prey. They can't match Titanoboa's size, limited by cooler climates and competition. Yet their hunting techniques and anatomy remain remarkably similar. Invasive Burmese pythons in Florida show the ecological impact a giant constrictor can have. Today's giants are living links to a primeval past. The legacy of the titans endures in their modern kin. What makes a giant snake? Specialized anatomy and the right environment? Hundreds of flexible vertebrae and powerful muscles allow for deadly constriction. Dislocating jaws let them swallow prey much larger than their heads. Warm climates are crucial. Higher temperatures mean faster metabolism and more growth. The Paleocene hothouse allowed Titanoboa to reach colossal sizes. Abundant large prey was essential. Giant turtles, crocodilians, and megafauna fueled their growth. Without warmth and food, gigantism is impossible. The perfect storm of climate and prey created Earth's greatest serpents. The reign of giant snakes is carved in stone and memory. Their fossils remind us that reptiles once ruled the world's wild places. Myths of giant serpents echo a time when such monsters were real. Studying these giants reveals secrets of ancient climates and life's potential for adaptation. Each new discovery adds to the story, urging us to keep exploring. Could even larger serpents await discovery? The mystery endures. The legacy of the giant snakes calls us to adventure, wonder, and awe. If you found this information as fascinating and eye-opening as I do, then don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button for even more captivating science content. 